What is up everybody? This is Alex here from Title Boxing Club in Pittsburgh with your 30 minute boxing class of the day. It is just me by myself, no Steph sadly. I'm very sorry, I miss her already. I know you missed the witty banter we had, but maybe you and I can get some witty banter going and I know we're gonna have a lot of fun. And we're gonna do something a little bit special too. We're gonna to focus almost exclusively on one combination. We've never done anything like that before. We always like to mix things up and we'll mix it up a little bit here too. We'll just be the exact same thing over and over again. But we're gonna really focus, we're gonna drill down deep into this combination. It's a simple combination, but it is effective. In fact, if we're gonna do a class about just one combination, this is the one to do it. It is, because I know you're waiting on, on pins and needles, it is double jab cross. Simple, straightforward, not too many punches, don't have to remember too much, but it is surprisingly difficult to defend. It can set up a lot of things, uh, but when you throw it at somebody, if you've got a good jab, and you throw that jab twice, it's tricky because, you know, they might think you're going to throw a jab cross, they might slip, slip, and then they run into that second jab, and then they get discombobulated, and you maybe hit them with that cross, or maybe they kind of block a little bit to take it, and then they run into that cross, or the nice thing about the double jab is you've got time to change what you're doing with this hand, and we'll do that in the fourth round. It won't just throw crosses. Like, you may see them turn too much, and that could mean it's a double jab rear body shot, because that's wide open for you, or maybe they bring their hand out to the side and you can come up with that uppercut. Or maybe you can even throw a double jab. We'll talk about those overhand punches. A great thing to do to mix up in there. You've actually got time to figure that out on the fly while you're throwing that double jab. But you've got to have an effective double jab and of course an effective cross as well. So we're gonna, we're gonna really work on that. You're gonna walk out of here today or you're not in here, but you're gonna walk out of your living room better at throwing the double jab cross than when you walked in. And, uh, and again, we're gonna have fun, and it all starts with that warm up in just a minute. All right, it's warm up time, warm up time. We're just gonna jog in place. We're at the beginning of this warm up, staying on the balls of our feet, moving those arms a little bit, just a little bit. In fact, actually, maybe not just a little bit. Maybe we're gonna start throwing some punches already. We're gonna start just throwing those jab crosses while we jog. Might as well, might as well get started right away. You don't have to worry about throwing them hard, fast, making a big fist, but you're just extending those arms and maybe, Maybe just maybe we're thinking about that little whip at the end, that little last second whip. We're gonna practice that on that double jab cross today. Cause like I said, we're gonna drill down into this technique. It's kind of like, let's say you're gonna make a grilled cheese, but you're like, you know what? I'm gonna make a really fancy grilled cheese. I'm gonna get the best bread. I'm gonna get the best cheese. I'm gonna figure out some sort of grilling technique. I don't know, but that's how we're gonna do it with this double jab cross. We're gonna make it special and we're gonna go into fast feet in three, two, one, nice and fast, nice and fast. Tap, 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 tap. Sitting those hips down a little bit. Good job, good job. Fast, fast, fast. Keep it going. We're gonna burn it out for 10 more seconds, but I want you to go fast. I want you to turn it up. Don't just phone this one in. Even though that warm just started. Come on, a little bit faster. Three, two, one. We're going a little pogo bounces, pogo bounces. So it's not quite a jump rope. It's a little bit higher than that. But it's also not a squat jump. We're not getting sitting down and jumping way up. We're just bouncing on those toes, on those ankles. Good job. Keep on pogoing and even kind of jump around a little, like the pogoing dance of the early 80s. Nobody remembers that one. That's okay. You don't even have to listen. Just bounce. We got five more seconds. We're gonna turn this into a jump rope, but we're gonna do a little double tap jump rope in three, two, one, here we go. One, two, one, two. Two, one, two, one, two, two. Working. You can kick that foot out if you want, or you can just do one, two, one, two, two. Whatever you like. Just keep moving. We got about five more seconds. We're going to slow this down into some alternating lunges with a twist. In three, two, one. Big step forward, big twist, and back. Big step forward, big twist, good job. I step, don't lean over that knee. In turn, holding that position and turning those hips. Good work, good work. Twist, very nice. Step it up and twist, good job. Good job, nice and easy. We're gonna get everything loose. We gotta get those legs ready to go. When boxing, everything's gonna start in that lower body. So, you gotta make sure your legs are warm. 
you gotta make sure that nothing's tight down there. Keep it going. We're gonna work the back of the legs. In three, two, one, here we go. We're gonna balance on one foot. See if you can see me. We're gonna bring the other leg up. Keep the plant leg straight. Hold on to a heavy bag if you're gonna fall. And then just reach the hands straight out. Hold, other side. Reach them out, hold for our count. Uh, switch. Now keep that weight on the back heel, shift that weight as you step and hold. Shift that weight, even though you don't do it in quite this way when you box, shifting your weight and weight distribution is a huge deal. It is where you get that power and that balance from. Good job, reach all the way out, extend that leg, bend as much as you can. These take a little longer, but again, we're stretching out those hamstrings, working that posterior chain, reaching out. Good job, keep that leg straight. Come on, you got about five more seconds. We are gonna start to speed things up. We're gonna go back to that jog in place. We're gonna go back to those punches, but now we're gonna bring those knees up. In three, two, one, here we go. Let's go, keep punching, but now bring those knees up a little bit higher. Get that heart rate up a little bit higher. Come on. Bring them up, bring them up, bring them up. Boxer sprint. Good job, good job. Come on, fast as you can. Last 10 seconds, let's really sprint. Come on, a little faster. Maybe a little higher knees. Come on, you get five, four, three, two, one. Jumping jacks. Do you think it was over now? No, we got like two minutes left. Jumping jacks, recover with those jumping jacks. Jump those feet up, bring those hands up. You can, as always, step it out if you want. Recover while you move. Come on, keep going, keep going. We're gonna turn these into seal jacks. Stretch out that chest and that back in three, two, one. Here we go. Bring those hands out nice and wide. The clock is optional. Squeeze those shoulder blades, good job. Push that chest out. We're gonna slow things down again. This time with a reverse lunge, overhead raise plus bend. In three, two, one. Big reverse lunge step. Raise the arms overhead and bend. Reverse lunge step, arms overhead, and just a little side bend. You don't have to go too far. You just really wanna feel it in that back. Work that frontal plane of motion. Work that balance. Bring those arms up overhead. Good job. Good job. A little bend and back. Very nice. We're coming into that final minute. We'll do a couple more of these and then we're going to start to speed things up. Once again, for that final burnout, in three, two, one. Here we go. We're going a little speed skater. So we're going to hop. Bring that foot back behind, touch the ground. Good job, speed skaters. A little faster maybe, drive a little further, drop down a little lower, come on. We got 20 seconds left. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep those speed skaters. We're gonna get down the ground, mountain climbers. In three, two, one, here we go, go. Good, keep going, keep going. Back to those speed skaters in three, two, one, here we go. Hop, touch, hop, touch, hop, touch. We're going mountain climbers on the other side. In three, two, one, down and one. 10 seconds, run it out, run it out, run it out. Come on, fast as you can go. Five, four, three, two, one. Back to those speed skaters, here we go. And time, there it is. There's that bell, good job everybody. Get ready for round one. You know what you're gonna throw. All right guys, no surprises here. Round one, very first combination, that's right, you guessed it. It's the double jab cross. Now though, I want you to think, we're not just making regular grilled cheese, we've got fancy stuff today. So we're gonna really think about it. First thing I want you to think about is the whip. We talk about this a lot on straight punches. It's like you're whipping a towel. When you first throw that jab, it's a little flick, it's coming at you. You kind of see my hip down there, my hip and shoulder is flicking that out. My arm feels nice and loose until that last minute, boom. Now when it's a double jab, you don't have to bring it all the way back. So you can just go boom, boom. 
you can bring it back about halfway, but you still want that whip. In fact, that's the only way you're gonna get power when you throw that second jab or have it sting at all. Because you're throwing it from about halfway, boom, boom. And it's gotta have that whip. Same thing on the cross. Double jab, cross has gotta have that whip. You gotta have that nice turn, that nice snap, and let's work corkscrew hands when we throw it. Double jab, cross. The other thing I really want you to remember is to get full extension on these punches. It goes all the way out, all the way out. You don't have to bring it all the way back on that double jab and that cross, same thing. You are extending your arm all the way out. You don't want to be short, ba, 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 T-Rex arms. You want to extend that arm till its fullest point and that's where you get that whip. So let's see, we're going to go live in a second. I want to make sure we get these perfect. Always keep the hands up. Don't let that right hand drop when you throw those two lefts. Let's do it. Double jab cross, just like I said, but fancy, which means these are your best double jab crosses you've ever thrown. Make sure that hand comes up. Make sure that hand is up, that left hand goes up when you throw that cross. Boom, boom, boom. Keeping those hands up, but that doesn't mean tense the shoulders. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Boom, boom, boom. Good, double jab cross. And you don't want to start to show the cross. You don't want to pull it back. You just keep it right there, snap it out. Double jab cross, good, keeping those elbows in. You don't want those elbows coming out. We see that a lot on the straight punch, the elbows coming out, keep them in tight. Instead, it's that little rotation, boom, boom, boom. Good job, ba, ba, ba. Double jab cross, keep throwing it, keep throwing it. You're gonna throw this a lot today. We're, it's how we're gonna get better. Doing it a million times. Read about someday how many free throws Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan used to shoot every day. Bam, bam, bam. Repetition is the name of the game. We build those good habits, that good muscle memory. If you've got some bad habits, we all do. Like maybe this is coming out when you're about to throw the cross. Today is the day to fix it. Today I want you to focus on it. Throw a couple more. Now, of course, they don't all have to be to the face. We can mix that up a little bit and we're gonna go with the classic double jab, cross to the body. I like this one a lot. Double jab, cross the body. This can be the same thing. We're gonna throw on that jab and you see what they're doing. We're gonna hands up and cover and so guess what's open? That body. Double jab, cross to the body. Good. You don't want to telegraph it, but as soon as they bring that jab hand back, you're already dropping down into that cross. Double jab, cross to the body. Keep it going. Nice and low. You can even take a little step in on that cross to the body. I like to do that. Just sometimes we got to get a little bit closer. Double jab, cross to the body. Good. Taking that step, bending those knees, not punching. Too much down. I mean, you're gonna punch a little bit down. That's okay. But you don't want it to be way down while you're standing straight up and leave yourself wide open. Keep going, keep going. We're gonna mix it up again. We're gonna throw a first jab to the head, second jab to the body, cross. Jab high, jab low, cross. And this is one you would likely do moving in. That second jab to the body is meant to, of course, divert their attention for the cross. Jab high, jab low, cross, good. Jab high, jab low, cross, nice. Good, we're gonna mix it up one more time. We're gonna go jab low and then a jab cross high. So we're gonna start low, bring it back, boom, boom. And this one again, you kind of almost want that jab to the body, moving yourself forward, a little nuance. Just throw that jab cross to the head. Jab to the body, jab cross to the head. We got 10 seconds left. Keep it going. Don't let your foot off the gas yet, good. Come on. Good work, everybody. They are going into active rest time. Jogging in place is too easy. So we're gonna go back to those jumps, just those little pogo jumps. Although that might be too easy. So we're gonna go to squat jumps instead. In three, two, one, here we go. Big squat jumps up in the air. Let that weight sit down, drive it straight back up. Keep going. I'm gonna tell you about round two. Yep, we're gonna start off with a double jump cross again. Don't worry, we'll mix it up, I swear. But I wanna think about movement this time. So we're gonna go forward, double jab, cross. Backward, double jab, cross. To the left, double jab, cross. To the right, double jab, cross. That's the hardest one, sometimes moving to the right if you're a right-handed person. So forward, double jab, cross. Backward, double jab, cross. To the left, boom, boom, boom. To the right, boom, boom. Ah, I forgot. Jab, jab, cross. Yeah, I told you the right's the hardest one. Let's go. Double jab, cross. Double jab, cross. Double jab, cross. Double jab, cross. Good. 
And you can take a little angle step if you want. It doesn't have to be straight in, straight out, but just I want to get you used to moving while these punches land. Boom, 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 boom. And the idea is every time the foot lands, I say this all the time, so does the punch. So I'm going forward, boom, boom, boom. Every time you step, when that left foot lands, so does my left hand. I'm kind of sliding my right foot in, left hand again, cross. So double jab, cross in, double jab, cross out, double jab, cross to the side, double jab, cross to the right side. Good work, good work, keep it going. Forward, backward, side to side. You mix up the order, that's okay. That's okay, double jab, cross. Double jab, cross, come on. Good, we're gonna do a little freestyle circling now. You can make a little half circle around like I'm doing here. Just circling around, throwing, yes, those same punches, a double jab cross, keep it coming. Keep it coming. Go ahead, double jab cross. Double jab, cross. If it's uncomfortable moving and throwing the punches, that's okay. You can move and then throw the punches. Move and then throw those punches. Good. And remember, don't just phone this in because it's like, oh, we're just doing the same thing. Right. Think about every single one. Every single one. What are your hands doing? Are you keeping them up? Are you rotating that shoulder through that cross? Is your cross like this? Or are you turning all the way? Are you getting the power of your shoulder, your elbow, your hip? Your knee all in alignment, all skeleton into that power. That's where that power is. If you can get all those bones lined up, you're gonna get so much more power. I guarantee you, I was just holding mitts for someone today, and when he got that alignment, it was amazing how much more power I felt. Come on, keep moving. We're coming down to the last minute. Of course, we are gonna throw some other punches. Let's start with non-stop hooks in three, two, one. And we can make these hooks better too. So make sure those elbows are up. You're twisting, 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 twisting. Your arms are out here, not arm swings. Instead, you're keeping that nice little L, L shape, 90 degree angle. Boom, boom, boom. Non stop hooks. Make them powerful. You don't have to go for just speed, but don't do this. Nobody do this. Look at yourself in the mirror. Make sure that's not you. Turn those hips. Make it a snappy turn. Turn those heels. We're going uppercuts in three, two, one. Uppers, non stop uppercuts using those legs. Again, nobody's doing this. Nobody's doing this. Come on, come on, man. Put them up, put them in your dudes. No. Shh, 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 shh. Driving from those hips. Come on. Boom, boom. Palm facing up. Driving strip. Zipping up that sweatshirt. Come here. Let me zip that up for you. Let me zip it. Got three, two, one. Good job, everybody. Active rest. We are going to do a. What are we going to do? Okay, we're going to go back down to the ground, but this time we're just going to do plank jacks. No mountain climbers. Jump those feet out, jump them in as wide as you can, but don't let those hips sink down when you do it. Make sure those hips stay nice and flat. Good job. You keep going. I'm going to tell you about the next round. And guess what? You'll never guess. We're going to start this off with not a double jab cross. We're going to start with a different combo. We're going to throw a jab, rear uppercut, lead hook, rear hook but then we're gonna add a double jab cross on. But for now, we'll just throw the jab, upper hook, hook, and then we're gonna talk about using that double jab cross at the end of a combo. All right, so here we go. Jab, hook, hook, hook. Oh, sorry, jab, uppercut, hook, hook. It didn't count because the bell hadn't rubbed. Jab, upper, hook, hook, lead hook, rear hook. Jab, as you come after that jab, you pull it back, you're dipping down, throwing that uppercut, lead hook, rear hook. Again, you can make these good. Two. This could be your technique day. Technique Tuesday, maybe. It used to be Tabata Tuesday. We should do one of those again. Next time, next time, jab, upper, upper, hook. Keep it going. Jab, upper, hook, hook. I don't know why I can't. This is a hard combo to say. It's not that hard to throw. So you don't have to say it, but we are gonna add a double jab cross on there. So jab, upper, hook, hook, double jab cross. And if you want to, this is where you can add that movement in. Jab, upper, hook, hook, and you can move in, double jab, cross. Maybe one of those hooks hurt them, and they're stumbling back, stumbling back, so you're following with that double jab, cross. Or maybe you would just rather not be in there right now, so you're just trying to get away. Or maybe you're just circling to a new angle, so it's jab, upper, hook, hook, double jab, cross. Circle to that new angle. Jab, upper, hook, hook, double jab, cross. Good, you could even take a pivot step. 
jab, upper, hook, hook, double jab, cross. I like that pivot, double jab, cross. You could do that. Jab, upper, hook, hook, double jab, cross. Keep it going, keep it going. Come on. Jab, upper, hook, hook, double jab, cross. Great work, great work. So we're coming into our burnout. And guess what? Oops, I'm say. Upper, hook, hook. We're gonna go non-stop double jab cross, but I want you to throw the most powerful double jab cross you've ever thrown. Really snap. Back, back, back. How hard can you go? Back, back, back. And remember, the combo's not over when this happens. This is when the combo's over. Come on, let's see that power. The most power you've ever thrown on a double jab cross. Those jabs can have a little sting too, especially if you're moving in. Boom, boom, boom. So move in if you're comfortable. Bam, bam, bam. Come on. Now in five seconds, I'm gonna see the heart, the fastest double jab cross you've ever thrown. In three, two, one, let's go. How fast can you go? Good. Come on. Last 30 seconds. We're going just jab crosses in three, two, one, go. Bye, bye, bye. Fast as you can, fast as you can. But when I call it double jab cross, throw a double jab cross. Let's go, double jab cross, go. Boom. Back to the jab cross. Double jab cross, go. Back to the jab cross. Double jab cross, go. Back to those jab crosses, come on. Double jab cross, go. Keep throwing, don't stop. Double jab cross, go. And then back to those jab crosses one more time. Double jab cross, go. Woo. Great work, everybody. Active rest. We are gonna do a jumping jack. But not just any jumping jack. We're gonna do a flying jumping jack. It's our last round. We wanna really get that workout in. Then let's get that heart rate up. Keep on going. I'm gonna tell you about that last round. All right, guys, this is it. Final round. Yes, we're gonna throw some double jab and other punches with that rear side. We're gonna start off with a double jab rear uppercut. Later, we're gonna throw a double jab rear hook, double jab rear hook to the body, rear body shot, and then a double jab overhand punch. So we're gonna mix those in, I'll tell you when. And again, the idea is you can tell when you're throwing that jab what might be open. You look at your point, you're seeing what they're doing. If they're, if they're down, dipping down low, sometimes too, you can even almost use that second jab just to figure out where they are so that you can throw the punch. It's almost like a, a range finder or just a here. You hold there for a second while I hit you. So that double jab can, sometimes it can be almost like a probing jab, they call it. But first we are gonna start off with that double jab rear uppercut and what we're hoping here is that maybe they try to slip the jab and then think it's another a rear handed punch slip again and then there's that uppercut coming right up underneath or maybe they duck down a little bit and we come up underneath. We're gonna talk about that, hey, maybe we'll even defend it, but first, Let's go, they've gotta be good too. They've gotta to be good too. Keep that hand up, boom, boom, boom. God, there it is, there it is. Shh, shh, shh. And make sure that hand comes after those jabs, comes right back up to that chin as you're coming up and throwing that uppercut. And in fact, on the jabs, I want you to focus on almost getting that shoulder shh, shh, to your cheek to protect you. Shh, shh, shh. Good, that protection, in case these jabs miss and they go around, you might be able to block it with that shoulder. Good, double jab, rear uppercut. Good, keep it coming. Nice. In five seconds, we're going double jab, rear hook. Three, two, one, let's go. Boom, double jab, rear hook. So maybe those hands are coming up in the middle like this. They're leaving that space for you to throw that rear hook. Now you're gonna have to probably step in because double jab is your, your jab is your longest range punch. Your hook is your shortest range punch, your rear hook. So you go, shh, shh, shh. Well, you already know how to do that. Ba, ba, ba. Throw that big rear hook, shh, shh, shh. Good, but remember, don't over swing it. Don't over arm it. It's gotta be compact so that you can get right in there. God, shh, 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 shh. Big hook, big hook. Ba, ba, ba. We're gonna throw that rear hook to the body now at the double jab. I love this one. Boom, and again, you're gonna need to probably step in. Double jab rear body, unless they're coming into you, which they could, but the double jab tends to keep them back a little bit. Harder to rush in behind that second jab, boom, boom, boom. And this is where maybe they, they slip the jab and also block it, and they turn too much. Maybe that second jab moves them a little bit 
and leaves that wide open for you. Double jab for your body shot. Good job. Good, keep it going. Double jab for your body shot. Bring that hand right back up. Don't leave it down here. Hey, I'm done. No. Keep the double jab and bring that hand back to your cheek on the left side. And then as soon as you're done with that body shot, right there. That was a little robotic, but you get the idea. Boom. You want to protect yourself. You're taking a little risk with that rear body shot. So you want to make sure you're protected right after. A couple more. We're going to go to that double jab overhand. Overhand like you're throwing a baseball. Here we go. Big overhand punch. Go. Double jab overhand. Nice. And you could change that angle of the overhand. It could kind of be out there. It can be straight over the top. It just depends. And this is maybe they're crouching down a little bit. They bring their hands to block the double jab. They think that cross is coming. They're trying to slip. You just come over the top and hit them. Double jab overhand. Come on. Almost there, guys. So I don't want you to stop punching. But I do want you to add a couple more. Just for fun, we're going to add that lead body shot. Double jab, rear overhand, lead body shot. Come on. Double jab, overhand, body shot. Go right back to it. No breaks. In fact, let's add that uppercut. Boom. Good. Keep it coming. Boom, boom. Double jab, rear overhand, lead body shot, rear uppercut. Make sure you keep those hands back to protecting yourself. Come on. Don't stop. The last 10 seconds. Again, think of it like a burnout. We're just going right back to it. These final five seconds. Give me all you got. Three. Two, one, and time. Good job, everybody. Nice work. We did our rounds. Let's get ready for some core. You know what I realize? I don't think we've ever talked about defending the overhand punch. Strangely, both those other punches we added on, the lead body shot and rear uppercut, can be involved. There's two ways you can do it. We'll talk about it next time. All right, guys. Believe it or not, and you probably do believe it, we're going to keep throwing double jab crosses even when we do core, and hopefully even in our sleep tonight. So we're going to start off with a sit up. We're going to come up. Boom, boom, boom. Double jab cross. Sit up. Try to keep that good form. You know we can rotate our hips quite as well as we're used to. We still want to keep those good mechanics. Still get that little whip on those punches. Still cover our head. Good job. Cover those temples. Double jab cross. Nice work. Nice work. Good job. Keep it going. We've got about five more seconds. We're gonna bring those toes up nice and high in three, two, one. Here we go. Guess what? Jab cross. That's right. Double jab cross. Punch those feet. Double jab cross. Come on. Again, try to practice as best mechanics as you can have from this position. Good job. Double jab cross. Come on. You got about 10 more seconds here. Reach a little more. Try not to rock too much. I think I'm rocking too much. Come on, five seconds, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. I'm almost there, almost there. Shh, shh, shh. got three, two, one. We're coming up into a V-sit position. Try to keep your feet off the ground if you can. Guess what? That's right, double jab cross, double jab cross. Is there anywhere we can't throw a double jab cross? We're gonna find out. I think there is. Double jab cross, come on. Don't fight that gravity. Try to keep those hands up. Extend those arms nice and straight. Double jab, cross, come on. Come on, hold it. If you gotta put one foot down, that's okay. Put one foot down. If you gotta put two feet down, that's okay. Just make sure you got a little bit of lean back. Come on, keep going. Keep going. Ba, 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 ba. Three, two, one. We're gonna go back down to our backs. We're gonna bridge. Lift both of those hips up as high as we can, and shh, shh, shh. Bring them down, bring them up as high as we can. Double jab, cross. Bring them down, bring them up. Shh, shh, shh. Come on. Bring them down, bring them up. Double jab, cross. Way to go. Bring them down, bring them up. Straight up to the ceiling. Punch that ceiling, come on. Double jab, cross. Good work, good work. Drive those hips up as high as they can. Throw that double jab, cross. Try not to rock too much. On your back when you do it. Lift those hips up. Double jab cross. Good. Double jab cross. Good. We're going to keep those hips up in three, two, one. Keep them up as high as they can. Lift them up. Lift them up. <laughs> Just to pass the time, we're going to throw that double jab cross. Good job. Keep going. Keep going. Try not to move too much. Keep
Keep those hips up and keep holding. Keep holding. We've got five more seconds. Three, two, one. Sit the hips down, straight leg sit-ups. Oh, punch those feet. Straight leg sit-ups, double jab cross. Good job. I told you, you're gonna be throwing these in your sleep. That's the idea. I wanna make these better. And the more we do it, the better we get. It really is that simple, as long as we're making sure that we're concentrating on what we're doing and we're working on those good habits and practicing those good habits. Don't beat ourselves up. We don't get there. That's what the practice is there for. Keep going, keep going. Then cross, come on. Got five more seconds. We're gonna flip over onto our fronts in three, two, one. Here we go, high plank. Hands under the shoulders, hips are up, and you might think, all right, now we can't throw any more double jab crosses, right? Because we got both our hands on the ground. Well, shh, shh, shh. We can try it. We can try it. It's less of a double jab cross now. Good. Shh, shh, shh. Good. Try not to rock too much. You know, another thing about this double jab cross, although we're not really getting the rhythm now because we have to stop. It's we will rock you by queen. See, it's that drum beat. It's in somewhere deep inside of us. Double jam cross. Keep on going. Come on. Three, two, one. We're going to go all the way down. We're going to bring our shoulders up, bring our knees up. And yes, double jam cross. Double jam cross. Double jab cross. Keep those shoulders up off the ground. Come on. Double jab cross. You guys are doing great. Good job. Cross. Good. Double jab cross. Double jab cross. Shh, shh, shh. Keep those knees up. Keep holding. You got five, four, three, two, and one. Everybody on that side plank. Now we have finally found a place where you cannot double jab cross because you've got one arm committed to the ground. There's not much we can do about that, but but I'll show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna do T rotations. When we come to this side, we're gonna throw two jabs. When we come to this side, we're gonna throw a cross. So we're gonna rotate, two jabs, other side, cross. I know it's getting really crazy now, but that's what happens when we get cooped up and we don't know my normal class schedule. My normal life schedule. My brain starts to go to strange places. Double jab, flip, cross. Good job. Good job. Over, cross. Keep it going. Keep it going. We got about ten seconds left. Boom. Double jab. Move back to the other side. Big cross. Come on. Three, two, and one. All right, everybody. We're gonna go back to our backs. We're gonna go into a hollow body hold. So your feet are together, your hands are up. Everybody's holding, your chin is tucked, your shoulders are off the mat. You're not throwing double jab crosses. All right. Could you? Cross, just make sure those shoulders don't touch the mat. Good, come on, double jab cross, double jab cross, double jab cross, come on. Keep those shoulders up off the mat, keep holding that position. We're going to turn this into a rocking hollow body hold in three, two, one, boom, boom, and back, and up, double jab, cross, and back, and up, don't let those feet touch the ground, no, last 15 seconds, come on, double jab, cross, don't let those feet touch, let the momentum take you up, hold it for a second, throw that classic combination, and then go back, come on, you got five seconds left, don't stop, nobody stops, no feet touch the floor. Nice job, everybody. Good work. Thank you for indulging my crazy whims, as always. It was great having you. You did a great job. It's good to see you. I miss you. I hope you're enjoying these classes at home. Hope you're getting working on some technique, making some things better. Um, we will have another outdoor class. Actually, going to have a couple this week. Um, one is going to be purely boxing skills and drills, things that will make you a better boxer and the stuff you can do on your own. So sign up for that class. It's going to be at night, uh, Thursday evening, 5 o'clock, I believe. And uh, we'll show you drills you can do over and over and over again because we love doing drills over and over and over again. Again, that's what makes us better. That's 
So, okay, everybody. Now you know. Hit it hard! Although, wait a minute. Now I feel like I've got to do the, the 80s, 70s, 80s freeze frame laughing. So, uh, say something funny. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!